When did the conversation start that you wanted to do this anniversary tour? Honestly, we celebrated one for our first record and it went really good and it was really fun. And this was an iconic record for us as well. And we thought, you know what, let's do it again. Hey friends, it's your girl, Emily Curl, and today we're hanging out with Brad and Chris from Three Doors Down. Guys, it's so nice to see you both and congratulations on the Away From The Sun anniversary tour. How do you feel about the success of Away From The Sun decades later? Did you realize that it would become such an iconic album? We did not. We had hoped it was, you know, and you know, we were thankful to have so, so much success on our first record that to have two, we were like, okay, let's see if we can do this. And we weren't sure, and thankfully, by the grace of God, it done it done really good, and and kept us from being a one album band. <laughs> now, did you always know? I mean, when did the conversation start that you wanted to do this anniversary tour? What did that look like? Honestly, we celebrated one for our first record, and it went really good, and it was really fun, and and this was an iconic record for us as well. And we thought, you know what, let's do it again. Yeah, and you're back. I mean, this record has so many amazing hits. Kryptonite, here without you, let me go to name a few. Which ones do you think have had the biggest impact on your career and why? I think that Here Without You probably had the biggest impact on our career for, for this record. And, and also When I'm Gone is was our first single off this record. Mm. And it really established our relationship with the military, which is a relationship we've always been very proud of. And getting to go and play uh, shows for all, all of them has always been an honor. You know, people kind of relate kryptonite that's where people kind of found us and it was our first single you know but here without you is one of those songs that i think will still be a big song 20 years from now you know and i, I don't say yeah. that mostly i just i say it thankfully i go through and i read the comments on the end of the video sometime on youtube and you know that song it's as long as it's been since it came out you still you'll read a comment on there that's from today every all the time still you know and yeah it's cool to see how that song has lasted so long and is it means something different to everybody and we're thankful to have written it. Yeah, it still hits. Chris, I'll toss to you for this one. What is, at this point now, the most exciting song for you to play live? What's the most fun? Oh, man. I'll tell you what, anything that just moves. So, Sarah Yellen for me, off the, uh, off the first record, off the, the demo, that that was that's my favorite song to play live because it's got this, like, nice little groove. It's kind of hard to feel. And, and if you feel it and everything lines up, it's like, it's a good night. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's awesome. It's just really hard to get there, but when you get there, it's like, all right, that's my favorite. <laughs> it was a fun one to sing, too. I was going to say, being on stage, you guys have such a rare point of view of looking at the crowd, hearing them sing these songs back. What song off of this record particularly do, like, do the fans scream the loudest? Absolutely. You're without you. 100%. Really? Hands yeah. down? It is, but it's cool to see two things from it. It's really cool to see these kids up front that know every word of that song and you know good and well that that song is well older than those kids. <laughs> and at the same time, we play some festivals and some and, and things sometimes that, you know, some pretty heavy bands play. Oh, and there'll be some like, there'll be some like metal fans out there. When they play here without you, they're singing it. <laughs> at the top. They're singing it louder than Everyone's the going nuts. And Everyone's so it, going nuts. <laughs> we really like to see that. For you both personally, like, what do you feel like that you have learned as an artist, like since this album initially came out that, that have changed you both now? Ooh. Just how far music can reach. Yeah. And technology with the, with the social media and things. That's one thing that I do like about uh, social media with, with songs and, and, you know, other things too, you know, you can really be in touch with your fans. You know, we follow like, follow the three doors down hashtag you'll get like two guys in a country that you can't pronounce sitting there singing your song in a room or in a little cafe or something it's humbling to me to think that like we sat in a little house down in mobile alabama and wrote that song and and here two guys are just some random random place and they're singing it and know the words to your song and it's really awesome to see how far music can reach it's so cool to see that you guys are so active on social media. Like, is that something that, that's fun for y'all to connect to the fans in that way? I play on my phone too much. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, me too. <laughs> now let's talk about this tour for a second too, because you have Candlebox joining you on your tour. And Brad, that you mentioned that you've been a fan of theirs since you were a teenager, which is such a cool full circle moment. Tell us about this relationship. Absolutely. I've been a fan of those guys since their first record came out. And it was, they were one of my first concerts and, and down in Biloxi and they played CPR Fest, which was a, a station that helped, uh, well, that got us going. They put on a festival every year and I seen Candlebox at that festival. And it was the first concert I walked away from saying, man, they was jamming. And uh, <laughs> I've been a fan of them since that first record and we became friends over the years and we've never played, uh, we've done never toured together, but we've played shows together here and there. It's always cool to see those guys and 
and looking forward to being out there with them this summer and standing on the side of the stage and watching them play. That's so exciting. Okay, so Brad, that was one of your first concerts. Chris, what was your first concert? Oh man, uh, John Denver. Oh shoot, <laughs> country road. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. But I didn't drive myself, just so you know. My mama drove me out. <laughs> Really? Oh my God, it's great. Oh, two great stories, I love that. You recently posted a video of Morgan Wallen shouting out Three Doors Down, which was so cool. The older I got, I kind of got into uh, Three Doors Down and that pop rock scene. Are you fans of any other new artist? Absolutely. I'm a fan of his. Sure. I like Hardy too. He's from, he's another Mississippi boy down there. Oh, he is, you're yeah. right, you're right. He is. He's from the same little town my wife grew up in. And y'all like those guys. and. And we're, we live in Nashville, so we like those country guys too. Any um, artists that you'd want to like do collabs with or maybe that you want to cover some of their songs? I don't know. I, I know that we're definitely going to wind up doing some kind of collaboration with Candlebox this, this summer on stage. And awesome. uh, we haven't figured out what we're going to play yet, but we're going to figure something out. Well, we're so excited to see that tour. I've got to ask outside the tour, anything else for you guys? Any projects coming up, new music coming out? Can you give us the rundown? Oh, we've got a couple of songs that we've written uh, lately that we need to record and we just need to get together. We have no excuse. We've, one of them we've been playing live and it's a little bit different song for us. And uh, we're releasing a couple of B-sides that, in my opinion, should have been on the record back in the day. A couple of songs, pop song and a song called Long Day. One of them's kind of a kind of a slow, moody song, Long Day is. It. A pop song is anything but a pop song. It's probably one of the heaviest songs we ever wrote. So that'll be on like, I think it's on the deluxe edition or something like that. But I'm actually excited to to play both those songs. Well, I don't know if we'll play Long Day, but we'll definitely play pop song this summer. Oh, that's so exciting. We cannot wait to hear that. And of course here at iHeart, we're always connecting artists to the fans. So for all of your fans watching this right now, do you want to send a message to them about what they can expect on tour, what you're excited for for them to see? We want you guys to come out to the show and, and enjoy a night of songs you know. It'll be a ton of songs you know. <laughs> I want you to leave with a sore throat and a smile on your face. We just want y'all to know how much we appreciate you and God bless you. I love that. Brad, Chris, thank you so much. We appreciate your time. Enjoy tonight and congratulations again on this epic, epic album. We cannot wait to see the live performances. Thank you so much. And of course, for everyone watching, make sure you go get your tickets to the Away From The Sun anniversary tour. We'll see you next time. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. Did you like that video? You can check out more over here. And don't forget to subscribe to iHeart right here. And if you're already a longtime fan, make sure you ring the bell down below so you don't miss a single video. Bye guys.